Holland is not the kind of country that you would have in mind when you think board games, and yet some very good board games come out of that country. Like Orchards, from Fablesmith Games, and the mastermind behind it uh, used Das. Uh, Orchards is a game for two people, two players, um, battling each other with very good. We have a podcast about it. Listen to it. But um, what about the game inside? Is it worth the amount of money that you have to pay to get your hands on it? We are going to find out. Welcome to the GMS Magazine Unboxing Videos. With a beautiful, beautiful cover that takes care of every little detail from the calligraphy all the way, um, the landscape and the threatening atmosphere that the whole thing has. It's, it's absolutely beautiful, very, very elegant indeed, and done absolutely gorgeous. I, I think the designer uh, just has really managed to get a, a really good art direction for the whole game. I have already, we, we have already played the game in, in the, the podcast and we know that it's an absolutely fantastic fighter uh, for two players. But let's take a look at what is inside. I, I have to mention that this is the first edition of the game. So there's one thing in the second print run that has changed already and I will let you know as soon as we get in. The box is a standard quality. Uh, nothing to um, criticise from that point of view. It just is a standard quality box. The rules, there seem to be an awful lot of them. It, this is 32 pages booklet, but then we have four different languages. Very nicely laid out. Um, yes, I wish there was a little bit more padding between columns just to give there was a little bit more space to breathe, but the background is very pleasant. The font is very easy to read, it's also very big, which is very nice, and they have spared no space in making sure that you have big illustrations to know what's going on, which is brilliant. All the uh, sections are well divided, so you know exactly where you stand, and all the elements have been very well explained, which is very good. And you have a couple of variants as well that you can play with. So all in all, uh, because now we have the, a different language in here already, we have eight pages of rules, which that's excellent. That, that will get you going in, in no time at all. Now we have the, uh, the fighters and a few tokens and a board. Let's take a look first of all to the board. Yes, the board is double-sided, very double-sided indeed, which is great. And once again, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I really like it, love the counter. Same style, very, very much within the theme of the fighting pitch. And the whole thing is, is this rough and finished sort of style that really helps with the, the feeling of fighting uh, and um, destruction and chaos and, and being warned by fight. And another board to play two different types of games on two different sets of difficulties. The quality is very good. I like the printing. Again, the style is rough, you know, not, not, not very clear lines. The whole thing is a little bit muddled. That is how it's meant to be. That is exactly what they were looking for. And I really like it. I think it works very, very well indeed. Four of these tokens, and this time they, they've come for the slightly very posh. These are like glass pebbles, 
that you would use, you know, when you buy um, bags of beads, or ornamental beads. That, that's what you get. Uh, and this is what they are. And they look so nice. <laughs> they, they could have done with little wooden cylinders, but instead they've, they, they've gone for something nicer, much, much nicer. And, and that is brilliant. I really like that. So very well done. And I was looking forward to getting to these, I have to say. Before, let me put the box away. So I can show you the fighters in all their glory. We have a bit of assembly is needed. Okay. What needs to happen is that you get your tiny little fighter and you have to put their little hats on top using these to basically just stack them in. The second edition they have done without that. So uh, when you buy the game, and I hope that you will, the, uh, the, the minis will come already with everything sorted. You don't have to work at it at all. Uh, I, I really like them. I think it's brilliant that they use is the same sort of minis, the same sort of meeples for both players. And what differentiates them is the type of hat that they use. That way they can save a little bit of money and keep the style completely consistent, which is not a bad thing at all. And I, I really like that. For the type of game it is, this is absolutely terrific production. I really like it. The art direction is spot on. The meeples are very thick, very nice to handle. Yes, uh, in my case, I'm going to have to you know, stick those little hats on top. Yay, that's going to take me half an hour. Tough deal. And for something, for a game that's going to take you about 20 minutes to read the rules and get started, if not less, you are hardly going to get a better experience. This is a really good game, uh, so very highly recommended for everyone involved. And just many congratulations, sir. You've done really well indeed. Thank you very much for watching, and remember to subscribe so you can get even more videos in the coming very, very soon. Thank you.